guys, right now it is 7 o'clock a.m. on Friday, November 11th. I have this convention thing going on this weekend for The Maze Runner, and it was really geeky. But um, I've been a huge fan of The Maze Runner for a very long time. This is just my outfit today. I'm wearing these brand new Marvel mom jeans that I'm so obsessed with, and then this really cute Zara turtleneck. Hey guys, right now it is 5.05 p.m. on Friday, and we are driving now to the Glitter Con area. <laughs> tickets like we registered and stuff we got our pass and then I got I'm pretty sure a photo op and autograph for Ki Hong Lee a photo op for Dexter Darden and then also an autograph for James Dashner so I'm really really excited about that and then tonight is just the party so we're gonna go there so currently it is around 8 30 I'm pretty sure 8 40 I'm not completely sure but we just finished dinner and now we are going to go to the party <laughs> Right now it is 10.46 and we just got back from the party. It was so, so fun and I got to meet James Dashner and Boyd Cooper and I was freaking out so much and they were super nice. And James Dashner even started singing Hamilton. So as I said earlier, the party was so fun and I got to really talk to James Dashner and Boyd Cooper and I, I actually had like a, a good 15 minute conversation with Boyd Cooper. He's so nice. Right now it is 8.45 in the morning on Saturday and we are going to get a really fast breakfast and then after go to the 9 o'clock panel with James Dashner. I'm wearing this sweatshirt that my grandparents got me from the Korea and it's really big and I love it so much and it's also reversible which is really cool and I'm just wearing it with leggings and then my Adidas. If you think of something, I guess you get in this line right here, don't be shy and if we run out of questions then I will just yap. I'll tell you stories about my family. We tell stories about you. Yeah. My mom swore not to tell the Christmas present opening story. No. First thing, practice. I don't, so often people come up to me and want to be, see, now I feel like I can't move around because you guys are filming me. <laughs> I'm going to challenge you. <laughs> so, all right, I, had, I came up with this brilliant analogy. You want to hear it? Yeah. yeah. Just pretty brilliant. You sure you can handle it? Yeah. <laughs> what if LeBron James was walking down the street and some kid came up to him and said, Mr. James, Mr. James, I want to be in the NBA. Tell me what I need to do. And LeBron said, have you ever played basketball? And the kid said, no. <laughs> Tell me how to do it. It'd be ridiculous, right? If you had never played basketball, would you even have the thought in your mind, I'm going to play in the NBA someday? But I cannot tell you how often people come up to me, hey, how can I get published, man? You have a nice house. How can I get published? <laughs> Like, have you ever written a story or anything? No, dude, tell me how to do it. So, writing is the same as any other talent. You have to practice every day for hours and get really good. If you want to be an artist, you have to practice. You play the, you don't, you're not just born playing the piano. So crazy though, how often, I would say 90% of my best ideas come to me while I'm literally typing. It's really strange how it works. It's almost like, you have little brains in the tips of your fingers. I'll be furiously typing, 
And I, it's almost like I've lost control of my fingers. I don't really even know what they're doing. And I'm thinking really hard and all these cool ideas are popping in my head and they're flowing onto the page. Uh, you know, I'm creating all this dialogue that I had literally never, I say literally a lot, <laughs> stop saying that, that I had never thought about before. And yet they're just flowing out. It's like you think you would have to sit there and think about it, picture in your mind, and then write it. But that's not how it works for me. It just, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know how it works. It's really <laughs> terrible. So Newton and Sonia are not a thing. I know I'm from Georgia, but it's not, <laughs> not a thing. Thank you, Emma. Did I answer your question? Yes, you did. Okay, thank you. It's like, don't get him talking about Hamilton. Because <laughs> the rest of the time, I'm going to talk about Hamilton. <laughs> All right, what, what about Hamilton? So, um, I just wanted to know what your overall opinion of it was. I love like... this. Thank you for asking this. I swear I did not pay her to ask this question. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. You're named after Alexander Hamilton? No, I'm not. Just say yes. Just say yes. Well, I wish I was. No, just say yes. Yeah. You know that I dressed up as Alexander Hamilton <laughs> for Halloween. And my wife was Eliza Hamilton. No way! Yes. That's so cool. Yes. I was Angelica. You were Angelica? Yeah. Aww. That is so incredibly sweet. <laughs> You're, I'm going to be the sister that no one cares about. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's Peggy. That's Peggy. Peggy. <laughs> when you said Angelica, I heard Peggy. So you were Angelica. That's even better. Angelica's amazing. I wish someone would dress up as Peggy, actually. <laughs> it would just be funny. I'm Peggy. <laughs> yeah, no one cares about Peggy. But we're sitting down, because you sit down when you see musicals, and there is an empty seat next to me. And right when the lights started going down, this guy in a hoodie comes in and sits right next to us. Lynn manuel Miranda. And uh, I shook his hand. I shook Lynn manuel Miranda's hand. <laughs> And this is the best part. This is going to sound like I'm bragging, because it is. I tweeted him afterward, very similar to some tweets you guys send me. I'm like, Mr. Miranda, I'm the guy sitting next to you who shook your hand. And here, you know what he said to me? You ready for this? You might want to hold on to your seats. He said, Dashner, I thought you looked familiar. I love memes. They are the greatest thing that's happened to this earth. And... At the end of that movie, there's this very tender scene where the father is chasing his son with an axe, <laughs> trying to murder him, and they're running through a garden maze, these big hedges that create a maze, and it's snowing, and it's some of the most surreal, creepy, fantastic imagery I've ever witnessed in my life. And there's this cool thing where the boy tries to walk backwards in the snow and he's covering it up. And anyway. Uh, so I've been fascinated with mazes ever since that. Mazes are just cool. They're very uh, metaphorical about life. Like we don't know what's around the corner. We've lost our way trying to find our way. I mean, I relate to Thomas the most because I was in his head for many years and many books. Plus, when I think of Thomas, I picture Dylan O'Brien. So yeah, I'd definitely be Thomas. A two word question, why Newt? It's so fun to be able to talk about Newt because you all, it's not spoiling it because most of you, except maybe some parents are like, thanks for spoiling it, you little brats. Uh, I knew pretty early on I, I, ha I always knew that there was going to be someone who was not immune. Can you imagine how different it was if it had been Minho? I don't know if you guys would have, it would have been very different. But I, I settled on Newt pretty quickly. And I know it's just really sad. Wait till you see it in the movie. I mean, it's hard enough to read it. Like people hugging in the back. It's hard enough to read about it, but... And I, I'm fighting hard to make the scene in the movie as much as like the book as possible. Although there's this contingent of people who are like, hey, you can, this is your chance to redeem yourself. Don't have him die in the movie. You guys would murder me if we did that, even though you think you don't want that. But it's going to, it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be awful, painful. You thought it was hard seeing Chuck die. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's going to be awesome too because it's not just little kids in the forest playing make believe. It lets us experience life with this tiny little separation from reality. Like looking at our lives through a lens, through a different lens. So you feel these emotions when Nuke dies, which can remind you of maybe someone you love who died, or it maybe prepares you in the future when someone dies and you've felt that kind of emotion before. got back from the panel with Ki Hong Lee, Alex, and Dexter, and now we are just having a quick snack outside. It's so pretty. It is 5.40 p.m. and we are driving home. Tomorrow we're just gonna drive back to the hotel. But I got James Dashner and Ki Hong Lee signatures and they were so nice. Ki Hong Lee gave me a hug. And I'll make sure to show you guys what they signed after. And also tomorrow I'm going to a few panels, pretty much all the panels I'm pretty sure. And then I'm gonna take a picture with Ki Hong Lee and Dexter Darden. <laughs> and I'm at home again. I'm with my dog. So this is what we got on Friday after we registered um, a mini poster, two bookmarks, and then this sticker. I actually already have this from the collector's edition of the Maze Runner and the Scorched Trials I got for my birthday two years ago. And this dog tag necklace, um, I think another sticker, and then another poster, wristband, and patch, which I think is super cute. And then this is the book with like the actor's epigraphy. So. And a lot of people use this for them to sign it. But I just used my death cure copy. Ki Hong Lee signed the first page for me and wrote Shuck It in Korean. And James Dashner signed my page 250 in the death cure. He wrote, I'm sorry, mute. And then meet Mrs. Real and signed it. And, and to be completely honest, I'm like still like in shock that I got to meet um, most of the people and ask them questions at the panels I asked. I think I asked um, a question at every panel, and just everyone was so sweet. It was so surreal. Like I still can't believe it, but I'm so excited for tomorrow because that's when I'm doing my photo ops, and there are more panels. Right now it is 8:58 a.m. in the morning on Sunday, November 13th, and we are on our way to the last day of GlitterCon. <laughs> Outfit. I'm wearing the same military denim jacket that I wore on Friday and I have this turtleneck and then I'm wearing these super cute flares I've been obsessed with lately and then my Steve Madden boots. You know I tried so hard My feelings just can't disguise the way In which I fell into your heart was never what I At once Lately my scores kept Dividing lines deep set and paved Two parts to wonder fruit The part and several desires to pursue 
and the soul chokes to cause the tide to enforce the vibe. This old emotion is moved inside. I'll score my mind, store my crime. Reach slow motion to cry in the mind. See, here I trace my steps. Where my cells are left and brain. Yeah, he's making his way to the poster, signing it. Blowing kisses as he walks to the poster. Sign that poster. He's in front of the poster. Oh, oh, he found it. Okay, okay. He's finding the truth. Next one, look at the girl. Oh, he's stretched up there. Get it, there it is. Got it. Get it. Get it. Yeah, he got it. To see my body has merged to the deep. But my soul flows A drift for the smiles The story lies The soul is broken Down the borderlines To cause the tide To enforce the vibe This old emotion Is moved in time Out of school of mine To soul my cry Right now it is 4 o'clock oh. And we just got back from the last panel, so now we are heading out back to the car. Right now it is 5.35 and I came back from the convention I think probably like around an hour ago. But honestly, it was just such an amazing experience. It was so surreal. Like I'm still processing that I got to meet everyone. And I could just talk and go on for hours about how amazing it was. But it really was such a great event. And I definitely recommend if they ever do anything else like this for the Maze Runner to go because it was just so great. There's a glare because of my light. But this is a picture with Dexter, and then this is me with Ki Hong Lee. But as I said, I could just go on talking about the convention for hours. So I'm just going to end the vlog here. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also comment if you went to the GlitterCon, because that will be cool. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and bye!